This was near the end of the age of dinosaurs, not long before an asteroid impact changed life on Earth forever. T-Rex was well adapted to survive in these forests. Powerful leg muscles helped Sue move quickly over short distances, perfect for ambushing prey among the trees. These jaws could bite down with a force of 8,000 pounds per square inch, enough to crush a pickup truck. Sue needed that bone-shattering bite to bring down giant, dangerous prey. But hunting other dinosaurs wasn't always easy. Even a top predator like Sue risked injury. A close look at the skeleton reveals the evidence. These broken and healed over ribs are among more than a dozen injuries to Sue's bones. Sue managed to survive to old age, but over time, arthritis ravaged these tail joints and fused them together, making it impossible for them to move. Now look down at this leg bone. Its lumpy, deformed shape was probably caused by an infection. If you look up at the jaw, you'll see some holes. These may be the result of a disease Sue got from eating infected prey. This jaw infection may have made it so painful to eat that Sue eventually starved. But we don't know everything. There are still some big questions out there. Was Sue male or female? What were those tiny arms used for? Did T-Rex have feathers? Did they hunt in packs or alone? We've learned so much about T-Rex in the last hundred years, and with each new discovery, the more vividly we can see the towering, ferocious, battle-scarred predator that Sue once was.